Hello, hello. Welcome to Roar Restore Ministries, where we talk about the reconciliation, restoration, and resurrection power of Yeshua. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to be a vessel used by God to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting the good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Family, I'm here with a roar of restore for kingdom marriages and families. The Lion of Judah is roaring restore, and he's roaring restore over you, your marriage, and your family. And restoration is going to be your portion. You will testify of the restoration power of Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Family, I'm super excited to release this encouraging word from the Lord to those of you who you've been standing for the restoration of your marriage, um, the restoration of your family. The enemy came in and he just tore it down. He tore your marriage down. He tore your family apart. He ripped y'all apart. You went through a ripping, but the Lord said that the ripping was a setup for the reaping. I'm here to tell you that truly it is your due season to reap in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says he is getting ready to plant you. Glory, hallelujah. And this time you will not be uprooted. He says you will not go through another ripping. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Family, this word um, stirred in my spirit um, the other day as I looked over um, at this um, ivy plant that I have uh, sitting in my kitchen. This ivy plant, um, if you can see, I just got it sitting in water and you can see um, its roots. I just absolutely love doing this uh, with my um, ivy. Well, back around uh, 2019, um, I had taken, I cut off some more of the, whatever you call them, for my ivy plant and um, stuck it in water. And so that was in around 2019. And 2019, I was in Oklahoma. So this plant has come with me from Oklahoma uh, to Florida. This plant has been through um, some seasons. It's been through winter seasons. It's been through the spring, the summer, and the fall. It has been through um, it all with me. And whenever I transitioned to Florida um, from Oklahoma, I had, uh, because there was just something about this. I'm not, I, 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 this isn't um, a God to me. I don't uh, idol, th this isn't an idol. I don't uh, worship it. Um, but there, there was just something special about this plant. And so I had actually taken it out of the water and it was in another jar, a little round jar. In June, I transitioned it into this. Interestingly, June was a pivotal month. The Lord began to speak about uh, transitioning. Well, I transitioned uh, this into this back in June. I found this at Dollar General and just thought it was so cute. And so anyways, um, put it over into uh, this water. And when I was looking at it the other day, I heard the Lord say, um, it is time to plant it. And then it just went from there with this very encouraging um, word from the Lord again to you all um, who have been standing on a promise of restoration from the Lord. Um, uh, several things that I, I need to, to get out. One is I have noticed that for quite some time um, I have decreed Amos 9 and I have been very specific 11 through 15. I know uh, there are prophetic words and many will talk about Amos 9. They'll say like Amos 9, 11, Amos 9, 11 through uh, 13. Um, and anytime I would even think of that in a message, um, the Holy Spirit would always catch me when I felt I would want to stop. And he would have me end it with 15. So if you have followed this ministry channel for a while, then you have heard Amos 9, 11 through 15 decreed for quite some time. Okay, so as I'm looking at this and, and, and I heard uh, the Lord speak and he continued to minister to me, um, he was speaking to me. I actually need to clean this up. It's kind of like a little nasty right now. But he was showing me that this represents the standards. Those of you who you are rooted in Christ, you have been rooted in the living water, okay? 
and you have been going through some stuff. You've been going through some seasons with the living water. The Lord is sending me to tell you, stander, you, the one who is rooted in in Jesus Christ that you are now ready and he is getting ready to take you and plant you in your own land in this land you will see his restoration power you will testify that he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper in this land you will be overtaken by his goodness you will be lavished with his love because of all that you've had to go through in this land you will be seeing all sorts of wonderful things from the Lord he is going to be bringing vindication to you he's going to be redeeming you he's bringing restoration uh, to you to your soul to your household I mean he is bringing recompense uh, repayment you name it he is making it up to you for all that you've had to go through so again he began to speak to me about you all, the standers, through this plant um, who has these, these roots. And, it, and it's ready. Interestingly, in Oklahoma, it did not look this pretty. And until I transferred it into this, transitioned it into this back in June, um, there's just something about it. It just looks, I don't know, I just love it. It's, it's full. It's vibrant. Um, I just love it. But when I looked at it and the Lord had said that it was time for it to be planted, he spoke Amos 9, 15. And we're going to go there in a minute. But in that moment when I was standing there, because the first person that I thought of that I just knew that he began to speak this is my, uh, my oldest daughter. I'm going to put this down, but y'all see this? So this represents y'all. You are rooted. See those roots? You are rooted in the living water. Glory. Hallelujah. So... Um, she has just been given this amazing um, God opportunity. It's another God opportunity in her life. I could go on and on and on just glorifying God about what he's uh, done in her life and this opportunity that he's given her. But basically, she has been given a position in a school, a great school, as a teacher, a dan dance teacher. And um, the salary, everything is just absolutely amazing. I'm so super excited for her, this is her her first. She's had some awesome careers um, that it, doors that the Lord has certainly opened. Um, he's been preparing her for years for what he's preparing her for even now. Um, but th this whole opportunity that's been given to her is nothing like she's had before ever financially. And so when I looked at um, the plant. Um, she, she likes my, my, my plants and, you know, she'll tend to look at these little ones that, you know, I'll have around the house, like even this one in the water. And she's asked me, you know, can I have that? And I, I've always told her now, like, this is my plant. Um, but immediately when I looked at it and the Lord began to speak, I just had this peace. I just had, I was ready. I'm ready to let go of it. I see what the Lord is doing. This message that he has given to me for you all it, it, it's worth the fact that I've held on to it. I've enjoyed it. But now I, I'm letting it go. And I'm okay with letting it go for for you all. So um, I, I'm going to get um, a, a beautiful like pot and soil. And I'm going to now transition this ivy plant into um, th this pot for her. So she could put it in her, her classroom. And this could be something that can just grow with her throughout uh, you know the, the years. And so as the Lord said it was time and I was to do this for her, um, but was speaking to me about you all, the standards, because of the roots. And then he took me to Amos uh, 9, uh, 15. And this is what the Lord is, is saying to you. Um, well, actually, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to go and I'm going to start at um, verse 11. And this is talking about the restoration of Israel. In that day, I will raise up the fallen booth of David. And wall up its breaches. I will also raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. So he's talking about uh, restoring what has been destroyed. Rebuilding what has been uh, tore down. 
and that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations who are called by my name, declares the Lord who does this. Behold, days are coming. Hear what the Lord is saying to you. My brother in Christ, my sister in Christ, hear what the Lord is speaking to you in this very moment, in this hour. He is saying to you, behold, get ready because your day is coming. Glory, hallelujah. Your day of recompense is coming. Your day of restoration is coming. Your day of vindication is coming. Glory, hallelujah. Your day of repayment is coming. Your day of vindication is coming. Your day to dance on the ashes of the enemy is coming. Your day to shout, the Lord did it. Your day to sing, he has triumphed gloriously, is coming in the name of Jesus. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. When the Lord declares something, then get ready because that something is going to be established. So get ready for establishment in your life. Get ready for the promise to be established in your life. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Um, when the plowman will overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows seed when the mountains will drip a sweet wine and all the hills will be dissolved and I will restore the captivity of my people Israel and they will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. I'm going to read that part one more time. You will rebuild the what was ruined. You will rebuild your ruined marriage. You will rebuild your ruined family. Glory, hallelujah. And together you will all live together. Glory, hallelujah. They will also plant, okay? So you're going to be restored. You're going to be joined together again. You're going to be rebuilt. Glory, hallelujah. And you're also going to plant vineyards and drink their wine and make gardens and eat their fruit. I'm telling you, family, you need to get ready for an establishment by the Spirit of the living God. Because because he is getting ready to make up to you all that you had to go through. Glory, hallelujah. This is your due season to see the goodness of the Lord in a way you have never seen before and in a way that is going to change you forevermore. Glory, hallelujah. I am hearing the Lord say that when he is done, you will not be the same. Glory, hallelujah. This is really good news. You think you are in love with him now. You think you love the way Jesus loves you now. Oh, get ready because you are about to fall deeper in love. A glory hallelujah thank you father god you are a good good father yes he is glory hallelujah verse 15 i will also plant them i will also plant them the standards okay the ones who have hoped in him the ones who have remained in him the ones who have remained attached to to him, the ones who have remained faithful to him, the ones who have placed their hope in him. Glory, hallelujah. He is saying he is going to plant you on your land and they, you, will not again be rooted out from their land. You will not again be rooted. You will not again be uprooted. You will not again go through that ripping. They will not again walk out on you. You will not again have your heart shattered. You will not again go through another ripping of your flesh. The Lord says, not again. Glory, hallelujah. And then he says, which I have given them, says the Lord your God. One more time. Verse 15. Family, get 
get ready. Standards, get ready. Because the Lord says you are ready. Because you are rooted in him. And because he, the chief cornerstone, he is in his rightful place in your life. Glory, hallelujah. So now he can have his rightful place in your marriage, in your family. Glory, hallelujah. So because you are ready, because you are in him and he is in you. Glory, hallelujah. Because he made you a promise. Because he told you in the beginning that this was not going to end in a bruise. That it was going to end in a blessing. He told you in the very beginning that it was not going to end in death. It has seemed like it has died. But it was just a seed that went into the ground. And that has been sitting there fooling the enemy. Because the enemy thought that was the end of it. Glory, hallelujah. Shut up, hallelujah. The enemy thought that was the end of it. But the enemy is fooled. The enemy is a fool. Because that seed that even you thought was dead and long gone is about to be resurrected. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. He is bringing that seed forth. And because you, believer, because you, faithful one, because you who have held tightly, who've had a firm grip on that word from the Lord, that promise from the Lord, because you have held on to it. Glory, hallelujah. And though it had tarried, though it had delayed, you had pressed through. You have hoped against all hope. You held in there. And the Lord says that now the hour has come for him to demonstrate his restoration power in your life. Glory, hallelujah. So that promise that he made you in the very beginning of restoration, that promise is about to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Family, get ready. Family, get ready because I'm telling you, I am seeing the Lord take you. I'm seeing him take you, the standard, and I'm seeing him take that one that you have been praying for. I'm seeing him take your family. Glory, hallelujah. I'm seeing him take your marriage. Oh my goodness, thank you, Father God, for turning it all around. Glory, hallelujah. The enemy is so scared right now. He does not like what is coming. He has been very threatened of this moment of this season, but the season is here. The time is here. And the Lord says that the hour has come. Glory. Hallelujah. So I've been seeing you and your family, you and your loved ones by the very spirit of God being planted in a land that the enemy can't touch you anymore. Glory. Hallelujah. And everybody is going to look at you and they're all going to know that truly he is the Lord, your God. Glory. Hallelujah. That he's the Lord of your family. That he is the chief cornerstone in your marriage. That he is the chief cornerstone in your family. Glory. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you so very much. Family, I hope that encourages you. I am telling you, your Amos 9, 11 through 15 season has come. And again, he has faithfully had me end it with verse 15. And I'm here to tell you that we are at the end. Glory, hallelujah. You are at the end. Glory, hallelujah. And I know that I'm talking to many of you right now and you just don't know what else to do. And many of you, you're not even hearing the Lord. He says, that's okay just be still because he is in the midst. He is still working on your behalf. He says just chill. He says just sit there and know that he is God because he knows what he is doing and again he is about to trip up the enemy. The enemy is being fooled right now in this very hour. Family the Lord is coming through for you and this is your hour. So in this hour begin to praise him. Begin to thank him. Okay you need to stop going from this saying, Father, please, 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 please. You need to go to this position. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for doing it, Father God. Thank you for restoring my marriage. Thank you for restoring my family. Thank you for bringing us back together. Thank you for the divine reset. Thank you for another chance. Thank you for get, getting in our, our midst, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for removing all the things in our life that used to shake us up, that used to shake me up. Thank you, Father God, for removing 
removing it so that which remains father god is unshakable thank you father god for your faithfulness i'm telling you family this is the hour that things need to be going up that shouts of things need to be going out you need to be serving the devil notice right now with your praise shout because i'm telling you family the lord is moving right now mightily and i'm hearing i'm hearing him say right now he is hastening his word glory hallelujah thank you father god so family get ready because the lord again by his spirit just as he said is getting ready to plant you in your land and there you will never be touched again by the enemy again. He will never touch your marriage again. He will never touch your man again. He will never touch your woman again. He will never touch your son again. He will never touch your daughter again. He's never going to touch your loved ones again. Oh, no, 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 no. He sure won't. His days are up in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.